Hi students, I hope you have enjoyed the previous video uh, and learned at least a little. If you haven't seen yet, then you can please uh, go and search my channel with the name Influence Mathematics in YouTube and see my previous video. Those who have not seen yesterday's video, they might find little difficulty to understand today's problems. So uh, that's why I requesting to all the students to visit my channel and to see the previous video. Today we are going to do the same sum. Today we are going to do uh, the sums from the same method, substitution method, which are given in a quotient form. That is, see, here one question says, the difference between two numbers is 26. The difference between two numbers is 26. We don't know which are that two numbers. So, let the two numbers be x and y. Let these two numbers be x and y. So then in the first case, they say that the difference between two numbers is 26. That means out of these two numbers, any one will be greater. That means greater minus smaller is going to be 26. If it is smaller minus greater, then it, is, it was supposed to come minus 26. But they have given us 26. So we have to choose which one is greater. Let x is greater. So we have to mention it here, x greater than y. x greater than y. So x minus y greater minus smaller is equal to 26. That's equation 1. In the second case, they say one number is three times the other. One number is three times the other. The one number will be the greater one because it is three times than the other. And the greater one is x. So x is three times the other. That is y. x is equal to 3, y. So x plus 3y, moving to the left hand side, it becomes minus 3y is equal to 0. It's equation number 2. Now we have equation 1 and equation 2, and we have to solve out using the substitution method, since it is mentioned here. If it is mentioned some other method, then we, you have to do according to that. But here it is mentioned substitution method, so we will be solving out equation 1 and 2 with substitution method. So, as we have discussed yesterday, from equation 1, x minus y is equal to 26. Any one we are going to keep either x or y, x keeping 26 minus y moving to the right hand side becoming plus 1. We are going to substitute this value of x that is 26 plus y, x equal to 26 plus y. This is the substituting value of x. We are going to substitute it in equation number 2. So substituting x equal to 26 plus y in equation 2. Let us substitute x minus 3y. In place of x, it is 26 plus y minus 3y. So minus 3y is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. Plus 1y minus 3y, it is minus 2y. Is equal to plus 26. Moving to the right hand side, it will be minus 26. Minus, minus cancel. 2. 13 job 26, that means y is equal to 13. Y value we got, let us find out x. x is equal to 26 plus y, that means 26 plus 13 is going to be 39. So 39, comma 13 are the required numbers. I hope it is clear to you. Let us revise it once. Two numbers, x and y. x is greater than y. 
because one has to be greater than the other. So we have to decide which one is greater. We are taking x is greater than y. Since x is greater than y, we are taking. And the first question, in the first case, they have said that the difference of the two numbers is 26. So greater minus smaller is 26. And in the second case, they say one number is twice the other. That means the greater one, of course, the greater one is twice the smaller one. So x plus 3y coming beside minus 3y equals to 0. This equation 1, this equation 2, and as per the substitution rule, we have found the value of x and y. For the better understanding, let us go for the next sum. So, let us uh, discuss about question number 5. Number 5 says, fraction be a fraction becomes 9 by 11 if 2 is added to both the numerator and the denominator. If 3 is added to both the numerator and denominator, it becomes 5 by 6. Find the fraction. Here the question is about a fraction and we all know in a fraction numerator and denominator is to be there. So let the numerator be x and the denominator be 1. So the fraction is x by y. Now let us see what the quotient says. First case, a fraction becomes 9 by 11. A fraction becomes 9 by 11 if 2 is added to both the numerator and denominator. Here the fraction is x by y and if we are adding 2 to both the numerator and denominator then the fraction will become 9 by 11. Let us cross multiply 11 into x plus 2, 9 into y plus 2, 11 into x, 11x plus 11 to the 22, 9 into y, 9y plus 9 to the 18, 11x plus 9y moving this side, minus 9y. 18 plus 22 moving to the right hand side becoming minus 22. 11x minus 9y is equal to 18 plus 18 minus 22 is going to be minus 4. It's equation 1. And says if 3 is added to both the numerator and denominator, if 3 is added to both the numerator and denominator, it becomes 5 by 6. Second case, the fraction is x by y and they say 3 is added to both the numerator and denominator, 3 is added to both the numerator and denominator and we got 5 by 6. Cross multiply 6 into x plus 3, 5 into y plus 3. 6 into x, 6x, six plus 6, 3, 18, 5 into y, 5y, five plus 5, 3, 18, 6x, plus 18, sorry, 6x, minus 5y, 15, plus 18, moving that side, minus 18, 6x, minus 5y, equal to 15, minus 18, minus 3, that's equation. Equation 1 and equation 2 both are ready. And now as part of substitution rule, you are going to solve out this equation 1 and equation 2. I hope that you can do and if you get any problem while, so while finding out the substitution method of these two equations, please mention it in the comment section. Tomorrow I will be coming out with the new exercise that is 3.4. That is the elimination method. So, till then, practice the substitution method and be clear. If you have any doubt, please mention me in the comment section so that I can bring out some extra videos on substitution method. That's all for today. Take care. Stay safe. 
Be at home, be healthy. It's Nirmal Roy signing off.